Hi. So this thing happened. We were in group and I posted a picture of a bow that had a little act symbol on it. And somebody said, where did the fourth loop go? And I was like, bah ha ha, I didn't make one because my bow is so great it needs the humility of having a shortfall. Ha ha ha. Because I was kidding. Because I thought she was kidding. She was like, you have to teach me how to do a three loop bow. That's so cool. And I was like, ah, you joker. I get you. You're trolling. And she's like, I'm not trolling. Teach me now. And I was like, oh. You know it has four loops, right? And she was like, yeah, what else? Teach me how to make a three loop bow, please. And I was like, well, okay, okay. So I'm guessing, uh, you know, she's got some idea to be in her bonnet. And here we are. I've got 21 inches of 7 8 inch ribbon because that's divisible by three for people who don't want to fold. And if you do want to fold, it's going to be an approximation. Because you know what? I'm never using this. But she needs to know, doesn't she? Here's what I'm going to do. Fold it up like that. I'm going to hang that until all it looks about like before I crease it all. Yep, right there. And I just let it all hang loose until I figured out that the ends of the folds were going to end up in the same place so that it would be folded in even thirds. So you're going to need a length of 7 8 square grain ribbon. I imagine if you're trying to do this and you want it to be comparable in size to your normal four loop twisted boutique bow, then you will want to take the length you normally cut, divide it by four, and then multiply that number by three. So say I normally do about 22 inches, so divide that by four, which is not going to be a nice even number. Let's see, that's going to be a little over five, about five and a quarter inches. And then I would say, what's five and a quarter inches times three? That's going to be 15 three quarter inches. So that's what I would use. I just did 21 because, hey, like I said, divisible by three. Cheater math. Okay. You need your ribbon. You need to be able to fold it. You're going to need to not throw your thread across the room. Right here. Thread. I have very much left. I have to go to the store. Oh, glue gun. Glue stick. I already used my lighter and my scissors. I promise. I'm not a terrorist. I heat sealed. Visual confirmation. You hear that noise? Yeah, that little bump. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. Got my first crease right there. That should go at the top. I'm going to start folding like I'm doing my normal figure eight. Except that I'm going to go to this the second fold that shows on the ribbon, that's where I'm going to land the top, that little cut edge. And that's going in the back. Remember, if you have this laying down, you should have that little flat piece that can show. Which means on the other side, on your little guy, you need to just flip it. Give it a little fold like that. Here's the thing, normally when you glue in the back for a for loop, you would glue like this. Right now you want to glue straight up and down from that tight angle. See like right where you would split it, that's how you're going to glue this thing. I'm going to take my glue again and I'm putting the line of glue right there. Right where it would split the angle, mash it down, make sure you catch that edge so that everything stays right where you want it. The bottom's already done. And then you're just going to take this in the middle, put it down, and overlap that cut end in the back like that. Make sure everything is even in the front. And then I'm just going to fold it like I normally would, except that on this side, I'm going to follow this line when I fold it in half. Remember, for a 7 8 inch, I'm going to be folding this towards the back first. So, because I'm showing you the front where the cross is, 
I call this the back where the straight lines go across. I'm going to fold towards me and I'm going to line up this to make sure I get everything right. There. See how I've got those ribbons? They're nice and flush right there. I did that backwards. How did I I probably did it backwards because I'm not used to making bows with only three loops. Nah, -ha. all that stuff I said about folding it towards the back, that was a lie. Just making sure you paid attention to my original video about making twisted boutique bows with my figure eight method. <laughs> okay, fold it towards the front. Yeah, yeah, because I know how I make my bows. And then on the top back and on the bottom. And the bottom, wrapping it's going to be tricky, I have just discovered you're going to have to catch the back with only half of it there. Wrap that middle with your thread. Don't bring your scissors to the computer because why would you need that? Floss your teeth. Don't worry, I'm not selling this. This is probably going in the garbage promptly after this video because I can't come up with one. Well, you know what? No, I do have an idea for one of these, but I don't have the specific ribbon for the theme yet. Or the thing that I ordered from Clay Crafter. Oh, she's really good at clays, by the way. But um, yes, I'm making a bow with three loops simply because I had to convince myself that there would be a useful reason to do so. And I feel like the only reason I would use this is because I needed all that extra real estate to go way over the top. I mean like tool and feathers and netting and lace and the whole kitchen sink goes where your missing fourth loop is. It's a three loop boutique bow. And that's how you would do it. If you make one of these, if you don't come to my Facebook and show me, I will be sad. You will ruin my Christmas or whatever holiday that is your favorite you will do the equivalent of ruining it for me. You will ruin Halloween. Halloween is my favorite. So please come to www.facebook.com forward slash squeak. I think it's forward slash. I do not know. The slashy one that you need. Squeaker B bows. And show me. And come to the Ribbon Rock Stars chat group. You can look for the Ribbon Rock Stars. I'll put a link. And, uh, we want to see.